Yes, that's good. Thanks. Excellent. Oh, it's gone to the beginning. Right. Um, so this is very different to the um, presentations that we've seen in the last three weeks. Um, the area of theory to which we're actually likely to contribute is probably in education. It's transfer of knowledge from higher education institutions into industry. And our particular example that we're looking at is executive education, uh, which is trying to help non-tech senior managers get to grips with IoT um, technology and the strategies for adopting IoT. So the problem which the proposal sought to answer is a lack of understanding in industry about what's available in the IoT arena, how to get value from that, and even how to understand your broader ecosystem, um, which businesses find their ecosystems are becoming increasingly complex and changing really quickly. When Florian recruited me onto this project, he explained it as the CEO on the golf course talking to another CEO and hearing about IoT and thinking, I must do that, I must do that. And just telling the technology lead to do IoT without perhaps having any concept of how to uh, adopt it in an optimal way. So the project proposal was for an executive education course, which would try and combine teaching some technology with teaching from more of a management school approach. So teaching strategy around platform business, strategy around ecosystems, but also trying to teach executives about sensors and data and uh, connectivity. And one of the things that we have found in doing this is that people might be, say, very experienced surgeons in the healthcare sector, but when they sit down and try to learn about technology, actually it's quite hard for them to absorb something which is so far outside their field. Anyway, the project steps. Florine decided, uh, so this is all set out in the proposal, that we would build a collaborative ecosystem. And the vision is that we are going to bring together a whole network of organizations who want to invest on a long-term basis on this type of training. We were going to use them to evaluate the training need in industry. So rather than starting with what does the IFM know, we wanted to start with actually what do they think they want. And we were going to build the curriculum around that. So using obviously existing literature, but also what industry was asking for. And as we went around this cycle, we would improve that material and develop new models to help people um, find ways to monetize IoT in their organizations. Uh, piloting the course, analyzing the impact that we've achieved or not achieved in organizations and going through that cycle several times over the course of the 12 month project. So where are we? Well, um, we have started with existing contacts in healthcare, smart cities and manufacturing. We had a very enthusiastic response. We did a digital manufacturing week masterclass, which was heavily oversubscribed. Um, and uh, that's been very encouraging. We have done five interviews with people who are ex uh, experienced in their organizations um, in various digital transformation programs, and they're at different stages. So whether they are looking at how to choose between different IoT solutions, or maybe they're in the middle of turning their factory into industry 4.0 factory, they um, could give us organization experience insight to help us guide what we wanted to do. Uh, so we have developed 
uh, five sessions. It's very much an introductory course. We don't seek to turn somebody into a programmer, but we do get them to handle a Raspberry Pi. Um, and that is uh, quite a challenge when obviously the whole lot has to be delivered remotely. So it's a short burst. It's five sessions uh, delivered over five days. And we're actually finding it's quite useful to deliver it with a weekend in the middle um, because it allows people a little bit more time for reflection and to absorb what they're hearing. Um, we have completed the first pilot, so the friends and family pilot. And when I say friends and family, um, we were slightly ruthless. They did actually have to have some connection to the relevant sectors. Um, they uh, completed ooh, two, three weeks ago now. And so we very nearly finished collecting the data from that first run. And our second pilot run is due to start on the 9th of December. Uh, again, heavily oversubscribed. So we've got 76 people applying for 14 places, which is encouraging. Um, now, obviously we are going around this cycle again and again, and something which is quite recent, and I'm just gonna mention it at the top, is we're also talking to some uh, uh, colleagues of Florian's from the Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart, um, who are doing a very similar project. Again, they are seeking to combine technology with what you might think of as business school teaching in uh, various formats and experimenting with how you get that knowledge into industry effectively. I thought you might want to see what we're actually teaching. Um, that I realize when I look at this that actually one of the things that came out of the interviews with experts was please don't talk about census. And we, actually, we do actually start with census. Um, but the point he was making was that people need to understand the business problem first. Uh, he argued that the availability of sensors has now reached um, a level where if you want a sensor to do a particular task, it probably exists. And he actually worked in a technology company. He saw a need for this course, even for people in his company, because he said, my salesmen just try and sell sensors. They don't sell solutions to problems. Equally on the organization side. So for example, um, we did some interviews in hospitals. Um, they said, well, yes, obviously we need to understand something about the technology, um, but it's really important for us to understand how to work out the value that we're going to get from this, because we've got all these competing priorities. How do we decide whether we should invest in, I don't know, new operating theater or, or new um, estates planning systems or whatever it is without really understanding or being able to accurately predict the monetary value. Um, so that gives you an overview of what we are covering. And what I wanted to uh, share with you today is the, um, the feedback we've had about actually how broad the demand for this type of education is, even just at this introductory level. So people have said they want to use it to raise awareness um, in the C-suite at executive level, um, just to even get this type of technology transformation on the agenda. Equally, when we went to people and said, this is what we're planning to do. We're thinking of aiming this at non-tech executives. We also had people saying, well, do you know what? Actually, I'd really like to share this with some people who are not necessarily executives, but because I think they might come up with solutions to problems we've got in those areas. So would you be able to do this course with say the, um, a group of nurses or with, um, a, a, you know, a specific function within an organization. So, I mean, obviously, yes, we're, we're happy to do bespoke courses. Um, equally, investment decision makers, choosing between competing proposals, I mentioned, um, but equally trying to get support from finance for a proposal. So again, the technology function was saying, oh, please, can, can I bring, can I just bring my fellow finance director on this? Um, but the last point, uh, came from an organization which has already gone through um, a big change in 
one site and they have multiple sites where they do manufacturing. And they said, actually, this syllabus would be great for the managers at the next site where we're rolling this out, because actually we're not bringing people on board enough with the idea and just introductory level teaching of both the technology and what you can do with it would be brilliant. So that's what I was just going to finish with to share with you is that although we started off thinking this was going to be just for non-tech senior management, actually we're getting a demand from a much wider group for a wider range of purposes and at more stages of a digital transformation journey than we anticipated. So does anybody have any questions? I think I nearly stuck to 10 minutes, ever so nearly, Kate. <laughs> Imogen, there's a question from Alexandra in the chat. Uh, she's asking, uh, are you incorporating and is there space to do so learnings from pitch in many projects into the training material? We are indeed. Um, so uh, one of the things that we do is we list uh, other resources that people can access, for example, on the IFM website. But it, I mean, equally, I've been taking notes of what's going on at Sheffield, etc., as well. Um, and uh, for example, when we're talking about efficiency gains, um, it's really useful to be able to refer to, say, the digital shoestring project for efficiency gains within uh, um, within an organisation and in an SME setting. Um, but equally, I mean, yes, we've Maximilian and I have found the last three weeks really useful and interesting, actually, for finding examples that we can reference in the course. So, big thank you to everybody for their presentations. And then, equally, uh, perhaps to add at that point, um, we obviously um, probably a good month ago now reached out to all of the uh, pitch in uh, projects uh, with a rather open. Uh, email uh, seeking uh, inputs and uh, contribution and perhaps at that point obviously it wasn't quite clear which direction uh, it was heading but now that we have uh, conducted a full pilot and we are refining it for a second run uh, we obviously have a, a, a much more structure to it now and it would be great um, to yeah talk with uh, um, yeah the other projects more and see how we can bring in those as examples into the teaching material as well. Yeah, so we are we are over the next week refining the course again to start delivering it again on the 9th. Um, so yes, if you've got new videos or um, new diagrams or anything like that that uh, we could use, that would be great. And in fact, I have a list of slides that I thought were particularly insightful from different presentations over the last three weeks. Um, so uh, I, I may be in contact with some of you about whether we could possibly feature them. Thank you. Do you want me to stop sharing, Alexandra? Um, there's a comment from um, Jonathan. Do you want to make your comment yourself? And Alexandra has a question too. Yeah, I can make the comment. So, I mean, we we talk to lots of different businesses, not just in IoT, but in other areas. And, you know, the only way that you will ever achieve anything with them is, is by focusing on what you're going to deliver for their business. Um, and we also find that, you know, you've got to get the buy-in right at the top of the business. If you enter at the bottom of the business, you, you, won't, you won't get a successful project. So getting that right buy-in with the stakeholders at the right level and making sure it's about their long-term business aim is, is essential for success. Yes. Um, and uh, one of the things that we've been looking at is uh, there's quite a lively discussion, um, certainly in the business school literature, around moving on from what we might call um, happy sheets, uh, recording delivery of executive education, and looking much more at how you can assess impact um, at an organization level rather than an uh, individual level. So going into the organization two months, say after this one week course and, and asking whether they've seen the impact in the people they sent on the course that they wanted. Um, so there is, there is some quite interesting work um, arriving on the scene at the moment about how to do that. Yeah, thanks. That sounds very interesting and uh, really nice to, to be able to show the performance of the course uh, afterwards, after some time. Um, my final question actually was about uh, training material. So um, 
are you developing the course in a way that, you know, um, on the get go, it could be delivered as a package, um, sort of with a, with a small uh, short term notice or uh, does it need lots of um, yeah, so what we've done is, is we've created it in a, a modular design, I suppose. Um, it's based very much on uh, Florian's ecosystem course, which can be delivered, say, as a two day executive education experience, but equally can be, you know, could be split into smaller units delivered over a longer period. What I would say with the particular content of this course is that because you are, um, particularly on the technology side, bringing ideas to people who may be very familiar with the strategy side, but they're not familiar with thinking about technology. Um, the feedback that we had just from the friends and family pilot was that they found it quite useful to have just a small amount each day, but in quite quick succession. They thought if it had been more spread out, they would have forgotten in between sessions, but equally they just couldn't absorb that much in one go because it is so outside what they do in their day-to-day day -day work. Um, so yes, we are designing it such that it can be flexible. At the moment, it's all online. I believe the proposal promised uh, a classroom version. Not quite sure how we're going to do that one by the end of <laughs> March, but I'm still hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping to Here's the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think those are really encouraging um, comments on um, and especially, you know, the uh, I think you you said there were seventy six applicants for uh, fourteen yeah. classes. That, yeah. That's really an encouraging statistic, isn't it? So thank you. Yes, and so hopefully um, there will be a good course um, going forward. And actually, I should have just mentioned on the uh, teaching materials, we are very much trying to make it a a, a workshop, not just you know lecturing or just delivering theory. So we are using and we are developing our own case studies for the teaching. And um, Maximilian has been delivering his Raspberry Pi uh, task, which again, we are developing and improving as we go along as well. Um, so to the best of our ability on remote delivery, uh, it is trying to be an interactive experience. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, it's great that, you know, given these challenging times, you, you guys uh, have progressed uh, so much.